Would I recommend this game for other people to play? Heck yeah! <laughs> it's the hill of heck! <laughs> this is a great game. This is actually phenomenal. Oh! Oh, we can jump this. Oh, we can jump this too. Oh! Watch the spice. Watch the spice! Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh! 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 No! <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Sumisauce here. We're about to play something that was uh, recommended to me. I actually came across it on the subreddit for Roblox, and uh, the developer was talking about how he uh, created this. It took him a long time to build it, and he wanted everyone to try it out. So I decided to try it out. And so this game is called Hill of Heck. The description of this game is <laughs> Rage Warning. Can you beat the Hill of Heck? Slide down 10 levels of varying difficulty. Unlock new trials and power ups. Join the group for a custom title. Tutorial can be found in the game. Thanks for playing Hill of Heck. And it's got about 75% uh, votes. I also voted already. Make sure you, you know, get a little votey poo. Uh, it's got 65 votes, 19 active players, 7.4 thousand visits overall. And the game came out March 27th of 2023. And it was updated today, which is June 22nd, 2023. All right, let's jump into it and try it out. All right, so I already had uh, I actually recorded a video from before and um, didn't realize that my mic wasn't on, so that didn't work out too well. So we're doing it again. Anyways, guys, before I start this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. It really does help with the channel. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of June, and we can't make it there without your help. So if you want to be part of the Sumi Squad, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and be sure to click the bell so you don't miss any spicy new updates and cool videos when they launch. All right, so let's start, let's hop into it. First and foremost, how do we play this game? So far, I'm sliding around, chilling. So the way that this works is slide, press control or slide button, wall run, jump alongside a wall, wall jump, jump while wall running. And important, don't stop sliding while jumping or wall running. All right, noted. And we're kind of frozen a little bit. Oh, now we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so. We'll check out the difficulty. So we got very easy, which is orange. Normal is green. Hard is uh, gray or white. Uh, crazy is pink. Easy is blue. Medium is yellow. Rage is red. And black is insane in the membrane. So we're at the very top of the list. Let's jump into it. Let's see if we can <laughs> we can do this well. And I can tell you guys about how I feel about this. And this will be a little bit of a cool interactive review. All right, so first and foremost, the way that... Oh, I died already. Oh, whoa, 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 we made it. Oh, sick. Okay, so first and foremost, the way that this game works, and I died. So the way that this game works is uh, it's pretty much an obstacle course. It's an obby where you basically slide down a bunch of different obstacles and you try not to die. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. I personally really enjoy this. It's very, it's very, very satisfying. Um, it actually feels... Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, yeah, nice. It actually feels very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, feels good. It's very you know, straightforward. Um, it, oh, I died. Oh, man. Uh, parts of it, though, are really difficult, really tricky. Meaning uh, the part right there that you just saw me die at. And, um, yeah, I actually like this concept a lot. I think that there's a few things that could be tweaked in order to make it a little bit better. Number one being, like, when you fall off and you die um it's nice that it says something different each time but it should actually be like a sound effect like a like a oh oh a dad like if you've played slap battle slap battles um every single time that you fall off the map and you die basically there's like a really hilarious sound clip that plays and that adds to the spice man like it really really does it makes it so much more entertaining um yeah to the dev definitely add that in definitely add that in that'll be pretty good I also have one other complaint. Oh, creating another map. I also have another complaint, which would be whenever you do actually uh, die, it doesn't save where you, there's no check mark. In order to get check marks, you actually have to uh, pay for them with Robux, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. I think that there should like i get it like i understand my oh oh i understand having microtransactions in in a game that you've built it really does help out because i mean like if you build it for free and you know you're you're dev and you're struggling i'm also a dev myself um you know having little things here and there that are in the game to help give you a little bit of income it really 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 does make a world of a difference 
and it's you know motivation to keep you building stuff because you know you gotta you gotta get food you gotta pay rent you gotta whatever it is you need to do you gotta pay for it. money does make the world go round so i get it <laughs> robux makes the world go round but i just don't think that it should have been um that it should have been for the check marks it should have been uh oh, sorry not the check marks it should have been for the uh for when you save, right? It should have, or when you get to certain points on the map. Look at that. Oh, oh, I just did a trick shot and I, and I died. Um, I think that it should be, you know, you should pay for stuff like if you wanted to do morphs or if you wanted to have like special features or like special weapons or whatever or gear. That could be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like I get it. Like if, if it's, it's, it's a concept, like, you know, it's a work in progress. And uh, otherwise, like it's still, a it's still a great game. I like this a lot. I also think that there could be like a really cool, um, you know, like a race that you could do with other people where it's kind of like everyone's on a team, like you, like there's two teams and you have to battle against the other person and basically you could make it even spicier where like, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you can like physically push the person or you can like punch them or something like that. Maybe they have weapons, maybe they have whatever, maybe it's like Mario Kart, but for like sliding around. That'd be super dope. Oh, and I just died right when I, right when I leveled up, I died, <laughs> bruh. Um, but that's just me. I, I, I'm I'm just adding the flair, the spice. Otherwise, I think this is pretty fun. It's very satisfying in its own weird way, and it's funny too because like it's hard. And I genuinely, I'm not really a fan of a lot of obbies, but I do like that. It's like I don't know. It, it, it's it's kind of it's rage worthy, right? But it feels so satisfying when you get it right. Like, watch this. I'm going to do this trick shot. Woo! Boom! Right there. See that? Woo. That's dope. I love that. That's so cool. Now I got to figure out how to get through this without dying. Oh, the wall's there. Oh! Okay, that's a wall jump. Okay, I got to remember that. That's where you jump over the wall. That's where you jump over the wall. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Would I recommend this game for other people to play? Heck yeah. <laughs> it's the hill of heck. <laughs> this is a great game. It's actually phenomenal. Oh, oh, we can jump this. Oh, we can jump this too. Oh, watch the spice. Watch the spice. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, 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 no! Ah, that was close. That was really close. All right, we're gonna try that again. I still, I haven't done this in first person. I wonder what that looks like too. Let me do that first person. Oh my gosh, that makes it even harder. Oh, that makes it way worse. <laughs> That's hard. That's actually really hard. Maybe I'll do a challenge like that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me let me know. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, would you play this? Do you think this is good? Does this remind you of something that's already existed before? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Ooh. Ooh. Opa. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, that was dope. Let's see if we can hit this one. Can we hit it? We got it. We got it. We got it. Boom. Boom again. Boomsies. Okay, so we got to get this. Oh, man, I jumped. Oh. Okay, so we got to, when we get there, I'm going to stop sliding. That's one thing I noticed. Like, you actually, if you stop holding control, like, you'll stop sliding. It doesn't even matter if you're on a... It doesn't even matter if you're on like a really steep decline. Like you'll 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 stop. You'll be fine. So I gotta use that as a strategy so that I don't jack myself up, getting way too excited, hopping all over these hopping hopping all wow, hopping on all of these platforms. <laughs> getting a little bit of a tongue twister there. Hippity hop hop. Hippity bop bop. Bit of boop. Okay. We're gonna hit this one. We're gonna hit that trick shot. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Boom, right there. We didn't even stop sliding. That's how sick we are with it. We're sick with a slide. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to stop right here. Oh, it's creating a new map as soon as we got there. <laughs> That's another thing, too. Every 300 seconds, it basically creates a new map. Um, I have a recommendation again. It would be really cool to have like a... Oh, look at that sick wall jump. That was dope. It would be really cool to have a... Um, to have maps that were based off of real places. So... You know, you can like go to Google and you can get like, I don't know, like the uh, the layout or like the map of like Mount Fuji or something like that. And then you could just like integrate that into the game. But like, that would be cool. 
you know, since the map is being like generated anyways, or like there's like an algorithm that's being used to generate this or whatever piece of code he's using, um, I think it'd be really cool to just use uh, the like the model data from you know something that already exists to make more creative uh, style maps. And I didn't even make that. That was a big oof for me. I think you can also get a little bit crazier too by like adding in really weird like places that already exist like I don't know like a McDonald's or like the map of like I don't know like Manhattan or something like that like you know you can <laughs> you can slide all over like I don't know Great Wall of China or something that'd be pretty cool that actually be really cool now that I'm thinking about it uh, but yeah there's a lot of like this has a lot of potential there's a lot of really cool things that can be done with this so kudos to the dev for making this this is dope I'm definitely going to keep him or her on my uh, watch list. See what other things that they've got because I'm... Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm genuinely um, pretty impressed. And it's cool too because it's like it's it's different and not a lot of people are playing it as you've seen. There's like 20 people that are on this where most games that we play, there's like thousands, right? Like sometimes hundreds of thousands. And uh, this one's got like 20 people, which is pretty dope. Makes me feel pretty spicy. I didn't make that. <laughs> Gonna try that again. Could this be? Could this game be a little bit more friendlier to new people? Yes, 100 percent, 120 percent. That's another thing too. There definitely needs to be like easier levels in the beginning to keep people, keep people hooked. You know, you give them a little bit of a taste of. Uh, you get that you get that dopamine running by giving them some uh, some easier maps that they can definitely like you know get through pretty fast, and then you add in the intensity, right? Like because it's randomized, like I get it, you can't really control that to a certain aspect. But I mean, like if you were able to have I don't know, you have like different tiers, like you can see them here. Like, there's easy, medium, rage, insane, etc. I know this is for like the color of the platforms, but if you were able to have like one that was all just like easy or like super easy. It'd be very kind of straightforward for someone new. Maybe make that a tutorial because that will definitely keep people locked in. Maybe even like add in some lore, add in like a, like a weird story. Oh, I got to keep running with that. Okay. Maybe even add like a weird story. Like, I don't know. Someone, someone stole, uh, someone stole the King's shoes and like his shoes grant, like somebody that finds them, like, three wishes and in order for like in order in order for the kingdom of of shoe town whatever to not go under um it oh i almost died ah, i almost made it while i was telling about that story but anyways they got like you got like a weird story <laughs> you got like a weird story like that's the whole reason why we're sliding down this platform or was sliding down the, this hill maybe there's like lava maybe like the world is gonna end or something like that and like it's only up to us to like slide down and like figure out i don't know get to like a, a button that you click and then it like calls the Avengers and then I don't know <laughs> I don't know but uh, as we've seen add Laura to anything and you got me you got me hooked oh oh no I missed that one I missed it Let's try this again boom Come on, 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 let me hit that. Let me hit that, let me hit that, let me hit that. And it's funny too, the wall running doesn't even look like a wall run. It just looks like I'm sliding on the wall. Oh, oh yeah. Woo! Thought I was gonna die from that one. So we just hover ourselves over that. Oh no, we didn't make it. Oh, that's really hard. That's that's really difficult. Oh, I don't wanna buy I don't wanna buy that. Okay, let's let's try to get we have 36 seconds. Let's see if we can hit this off in 36 seconds. I think we can do it. Oh <laughs> Wow. Oh. I guess not. I guess not, right? Uh, we got 21 seconds. Can we do this? Let's see if we can try it in 21 seconds. Ah, yeah. Hover over there. Come on. We got... Oh, my gosh. It feels like you can do it, but then you can't. You know? We got six seconds left. I'm not going to be able to make anything. I'll probably just touch the wall, and then it's going to like be like, map is changing. Map is changing. Yep. Map is changing. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, definitely check this out. I'll, I'm going to leave all the information for Hill of Heck on, or in the description. Um, yeah, go, go ahead, check it out, try it out, play it, give it a rating. And yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. 
Um, I'm probably going to play this a lot more because I am pretty excited about getting better at hard games because I suck at a lot of stuff, but I play them because I'm doing it for you. Wow. I'm doing it for you. For you, the audience. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Again, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Sumasas. Ow! Oh! <laughs>